ENT is usually not been the game changer. Last year, there were almost 13 questions, which is double than what we usually expect. Now, an interesting thing, thing to, to note for you in your preparation, there is 100% questions coming from the PYQs. Hi guys, Dr. Jagdish Chaturvedi here with your INICT May 2024 ENT questions analysis. So I'll be comparing the trend of the INICT exam from the November 2023 to May and also some of the previous years and what can we expect in the next INICT and what is happening in the pattern system. All right. So generally, e, the difficulty level has remained easy in INICT. ENT is usually not been the game changer for INICT, unlike uh, NEET PG and also to some extent in FMG. Primarily because the database of the INICT questions is not so extensively updated like the NEET PG uh, database is being updated because it's also being prepared the same database which is going to be used for the next exams coming next year. So uh, basically, as you know that there are a lot of you know doctors who submit these questions. There is a quality check and it goes into a database through some tagging and then through computer generated random. Uh, you know patterns these questions are picked up so it would say like you know this percentage of questions should be ENT this is how it should be divided image based radiology you know they're all tagged and they are picked up so uh, the questions have been more or less easy and they would uh, because they're easy and uh, you know they're very easily uh, covered also in what we have uh, you know taught or probably any other platform is also taught um, nothing like a bouncer or uh, too hard to understand or you know kind of question like who is preparing for something like this ENT has been easy and straightforward now what has been different different this time is that this time's INICT pattern has been similar to what it used to be only I think last year we saw a jump in ENT questions and we're seeing this pattern alternate exams so alternately we are seeing a jump in Optal and uh, you know ENT um, so that's my personal uh, observation because last year there were almost 13 questions which is double than what we usually expect. We usually expect 6-7 questions, 8 questions from ENT. Last time we had almost double uh, and we mentioned it also that there's a 40-50% to 50 degree, uh, you know, increase from the previous um, you know, exams. But to this time uh, INICT had more or less what we expect the 6 or 8 questions. Why I have written 6 plus 2 is because 6 are direct ENT questions and 2 are an overlap. There was one question on uh, pharyngeal constrictor anat anatomy which could fall under pure anatomy as well. And there was an, uh, an image based radiology question which was showing the bird beak appearance which was achalasia cardia which comes under general surgery. But some of the symptoms were related to ENT so there was a bit of an overlap there. So of course there is a decrease from last time but if you look at exams before last year uh, this is usually the size of questions that come from ENT. Now if this pattern continues I would imagine that in the next INICT that's going to be in November we will see again maybe 12-13 questions in ENT and lesser questions in Optal because I feel that there is you know because this time Optal questions were more uh, and uh, last year when ENT questions were more Optal questions were less. So that's something to think of in terms of pattern prediction okay image based questions there are always image based questions at INICT from ENT um, significantly lesser from last time for some reason there was just one image based question which was the bird beak and that was also a radiological question all other questions were very straightforward um, however last year we had a lot of image based I mean, last exam we had a lot of image based questions and I think there will be more image based questions going forward this year they were not there radiology based image based questions are always there radiology questions uh, this time we had actually two radiological questions one was an image based which was showing the bird beak appearance other one was on the frontal sinus which is the x-ray of choice which is the Cadwell's view and last time also we had two radiological questions so even though we had lesser total number of questions, us may be two radiological the. So there is a lot of clinical significance to radiological imaging and radiological based questions, and that has been maintained in INICT, and we can expect that going forward as well. Clinical based questions, scenarios, even though not many lengthy questions are there, and INICT is not known for very lengthy, lengthy questions. They're very to the point and direct, but they do ask it like a case and ask you to apply. And um, you know, last year also there were a lot of questions, around 50% or more. 
and that was an increase from before but here lesser number of questions but five of them were all clinical based there was a question there was a scenario and you were supposed to use a clinical judgment and apply except for that one anatomy question or one x-ray question you know one or two of those uh, direct questions everything was you know there's a patient there's a child in the class you know that kind of clinical application based question so those are increasing and i would imagine they would remain around the 60 70 percent even going forward but the image based questions can increase and be a part of these clinical scenarios distribution of questions more or less um, you know similar even though overall lesser number of questions but always year dominates and they dominated or was equivalent to oral cavity and throat because it was one that face ma marginal mandibular nerve uh, question but otherwise there were three uh, clear questions from ear and one standard nasopharyngeal angiofibroma hamesha aata hai and we also had uh, you know another question on allergy um, so distribution of question wise more or less the same pattern ear usually dominates um, and then the nose and throat uh, that comes so we'll see that pattern is not really changed and i think that will remain uh, you know even going forward now an interesting thing thing to to note for you in your preparation is uh, whether it was this year or the last inict exam or even the one before there is 100 percent questions coming from the pyqs now they may not be like direct word to word repeats or direct concept repeats but they are using the same topics and they are molding it twisting it and giving it to you that's what i mean by indirect direct would mean very similar to the past so the three direct questions that have come from pyqs is what is a frontal sinus x-ray and the nasopharyngeal angiofibroma diagnosis and the structure that goes between the superior and middle pharyngeal constrictor these have been asked over the last five or six years and this was more or less phrased also very very similarly but these other questions on contraindication of cochlear implant as a child what will you not do you know i think this is a Im image of an x-ray and ecclesia person undergoes a parotid surgery or a head or head and neck surgery and suddenly has a drooping lip marginal mandibular nerve question on vertigo that is self-limiting or allergic granitis sign which is not there these are all common topics allergic granitis even came just in the last uh, november uh, inict also uh, i think allergic fungal rhinosinusitis criteria had come so uh, these questions are coming just turning around the options or the clinical scenarios and that is a very important take away of their limited database and the same questions or varieties of the same questions coming again and again to so focus on your pyqs and there is if not all we can expect a significant majority to repeat in the next inict as well okay so guys that's it um, nothing too worrisome or complicated from ent standpoint we are covering everything we are on top of everything we are studying the patterns and hopefully um, ENT will not be an issue going forward for any of these exams. Uh, if you follow the pattern and follow a little bit of what we are teaching you and you stay on top of that. Take care, all the best. Signing out, Jagdish Chaturvedi.